Okay, so it's time now to look at our extremely small function set. In fact, we're only going to be use, using one function in this entire system, uh, and that's going to be an escape function. So extremely important when we're outputting data um, that's been stored in a database. Uh, whether or not you choose to sanitize data that goes in or sanitize it when it comes out, um, that's entirely up to you. Um, I probably recommend to sanitize when going in and coming out as well. So um, what we're, well, sanitize when going in, escape when coming out. So we're going to create this escape function, which is basically going to take a string, use the HTML uh, entities function in PHP, um, explicitly define a couple of options, which is going to make this using this a little bit more secure. So let's go ahead and define the function. It's basically just going to be escape. Uh, we obviously want to pass a string in or it's going to be more or less useless. Um, and we want to go ahead and return the result of the HTML entities uh, function here. So what, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to um, escape the string that we pass in. However, this isn't quite enough to make it uh, as secure as we want it to be. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to define the um, the end quotes option which is basically going to escape single and double quotes um, and the last and probably most important is defining the um, the, the character encoding for this um, and this just makes it a lot more secure in case we're dealing with um, encoding of a different type so UTF-8 is going to be our choice here so this is essentially what we've done. Um, there's a lot of information about uh, HTML entities and how you can make it as secure as possible online. So, um, you know, it's a good idea to go ahead and research things like this rather than just relying uh, on the basic functionality that, that a function provides. So this as it is, is going to be, you know, more than enough for us to go ahead and, and escape things and, and for us to be reasonably uh, comfortable with how secure this is going to be. So that is literally all we've done, um, or all we're going to be doing. Uh, we've already seen in init.php that we're including this file here, um, and uh, that's all we need to do. If you have any other functions that you require, uh, they can either go in one functions file or in, in subsequent ones. But for the system that we're going to be building in this series, this is all we need.